Hey everybody, Marcos Villegas here with Freddie Roach, who uh, is here at the Wild Card training Miguel Cotto in the final preparations for Cotto's big fight with Sergio Martinez, Madison Square Garden on HBO pay-per-view. Freddie, reading some interviews with uh, Miguel, he mentioned that he's going to be more mature inside the ring, and I didn't really understand what he was saying with that because I've always seen him uh, pretty calm, pretty cool, pretty collective inside the ring. So what does he mean when Miguel says that? Well, I think it's more his uh, newfound uh, love of the ring, of ring generalship, of how to control the ring and keep himself in good spots at all times and uh, keep the opponent in bad spots at all times. Uh, that's what's going to win this fight. That's what we've been working on. Uh, Eddie Fudge, my trainer, was a great, great trainer. He taught me a lot about ring generalship, uh, how to control the ring. Um, it, ring is very controllable, even with fast guys, the guys will move very quickly and so forth. But if you know how to control the ring, you'll be able to, to eliminate that factor. And that's what we're going to do with this, this, this opponent, I feel. And that's why I think he's be more mature about what he's doing. He's still learning, he's, uh, he's getting better at it all the time. And um, I'm, re I'm really happy where he's at right now. You know, looking at him, uh, he looks in good shape. And looking at this matchup, it, it's, a, it's a tricky one for both guys, but would you say it might be a little bit harder for Miguel, given that that style, slick southpaw that moves a lot, he had a lot of trouble with uh, in his other fights uh, with Manny and uh, with other opponents? Yeah, you know, I love fighting southpaws, and I, I think uh, we came a long way with how to fight southpaws. We, We've uh, agreed on all, all aspects of fighting in South Boston. So, you know, I think Martinez is a great athlete. I think he's like, he's a great soccer player and great athlete. I don't think he's a great boxer. I just, you know, the, he has no defense. His hands are low. He, he's easy to hit. Uh, we just have to be in the right positions and control the ring on him. And the, the thing is that we keep him in bad spots more than uh, he, he, he he doesn't know ring generalship whatsoever. He just like wants to move, or he wants to go straight ahead and fight. His hands are down low. His defense is poor. Uh, Chavez showed that. I thought Chavez could have beat him easily if he had trained for the fight. He trained five days for that fight, and uh, you know, um, I was really disappointed in Chavez for not really showing up that night. And you know, he still almost won my knockout. This time I get a good fighter. A very disciplined fighter, a well-conditioned fighter, a guy in great shape. We've trained like we've been here for nine weeks already. I mean, he's uh, this guy's not going to last four rounds. Why do you feel it's only going to last four rounds? Sergio says nine rounds, but you guys are coming back now with four rounds. There's no defense. His hands are low. He's, I mean, he's so easy to hit. Um, I, uh, again, he's a great athlete, but he's not a great boxer. I get, I get the way better boxer. We've been boxing all our lives, me and Miguel. I mean, yeah. you know, this guy took it up as a hobby later, late in life. You know? He's a soccer player. I'm, I'm not impressed. How do you think it'll end, with a body shot or a TKO? Or how do you think it will end in, in four rounds? No, we'll knock him out with a head shot for sure. Yeah? Yes. Oh, wow. Right hand, hook? Right hook, left hook, same. Yeah? Yeah, either one. <laughs> yeah, we worked on both. Yeah. You know, Freddie, looking at him, uh, he looks in great shape. Uh, he's moving up. You know, what have you seen in his move up? And really, my question is, too. You know, he's moving up, but can he still come back down and make 154 comfortably? Uh, yeah. Well, he's the only way yesterday he's 157. So I mean, we're not that big. We're not going to be. We're, we're not going to be that big going into the ring. We'll, we'll be a lot lighter than our opponent, but we're going to use that for. The, 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 the speed and we, we, we definitely have the strength and the knowledge. He's taller, yes, but he's not physically stronger than us. He's not a physical person. He doesn't fight like that, you know. We're going to be a little bit uh, a little bit mean in there. I mean, I want... Rough him up. We're going to make this a fight. Yeah, he better not start crying. <laughs> Freddie, if he wins this fight, do you think he'll stay at middleweight or you want him to come back down immediately to 154? and maybe fight Canelo, because that's the other big fight that's left for him. We'll go back to 54 and fight Canelo, or, you know, a Mayweather rematch could be in play, because Mayweather needs opponents that can draw people. Yeah. I mean, because, like, uh, I'm sure they're tired of lose money. <laughs> but, I mean, let's face it, he needs opponents. And, you know, he doesn't have the, uh, If he doesn't pick Manny Pacquiao, uh, Miguel Cotto is the next best thing. 
do you think that he'll keep fighting regardless win or lose or if he wins he'll keep fighting if he loses or retire Miguel uh, no I, I I think win or lose we'll, 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 we'll go I'm we're having fun doing this I think I uh, uh, um, he's learning he's, he's he loves working out he's very disciplined uh, you know, 5 a.m. every morning, uh, I hate getting up early, right? <laughs> 5 o'clock, three hours on the strength and conditioning machines with Gavin every morning, just working out. Then goes home, gets a little rest, a little food, comes back at 1 o'clock, we do the boxing workout. He is he's just so disciplined. He's in great shape. We're 100% ready for whatever this guy brings to the table. We've had good sparring partners. We've had big guys, small guys, strong guys. Guys who want to fight us. Guys who want to run. Um, whatever he brings to the table, we are ready for him. Well, you heard Freddie Roach. They're ready for June 7th. Madison's Square Garden. Miguel Cotto versus Sergio Martinez on HBO Pay-Per-View.